The next format tool I want to have a look at is what happens when we go full screen. And I'll unlock this item so I can move it around. Well, when we go full screen using this option from our toolbar, we will see only the main working page. And we'll have this little toolbar along the bottom. We'll be able to select certain tools, like our pens, Creative Pen, Magic Pen, and use these tools right here. For instance, we're looking at full screen right now. We can choose them from this drop list. We can also go back and forth pages by using the arrows, back to objects and properties, forward to our format tools. And we can add blank pages and do all our undo and redo from here. This is probably the best area to do your classroom presentations from. It'll hide the toolbars. It'll make the text and everything on the screen appear bigger for students to see. To get back out of full screen, simply select the full screen button on this toolbar. There we go. We're back to regular screen. So that's full screen covered. Keep in mind, when you're in full screen, you have much less in your toolbox. But of course, you always have the pens in your tray to work with. So there we go, full screen covered. Let's group these items just to get some practice with grouping. Let's make them smaller and move them out of the way because we're finished with them. The next object up is dual page view. Dual page view can be very useful if you want to look at a number of things at once or if you want to examine a note and make rough notes on the side. You can find your dual page view button up directly to the right of your full screen button. This will open up two pages that you have. The active page, the page that you'll be writing in, is outlined in red. The other page, the page that you can only observe, is not outlined. Now if you have your select option taken, you can move from page to page. And notice how the red will outline your active page that you're on. You can drag items from one page to another page by selecting them and dragging them over. So if you have a topic or example or even a cloner, you can drag from one side to another side. Let's get rid of our little scribble here and add an object to show you what I mean. We'll add this item here and we'll even fill it, making it green. So now, if I clone this, I can move it over to any page that I want. I can also move an object from my main screen all the way over into another page that I'm not even working on right now, and it will automatically appear. I can do this, this at any point, just by dragging it over and dropping it in. Notice how it's gone, but if I go to my main page here, hey, there's my two little squares that I had. As we cycle forward the pages, you'll notice that it changes, just like a book. This page moves to the left, and the new page appears on the right. Sometimes, if you're working with an object that you want to clone and move to a bunch of other pages, or if you simply want to have the process up while you run over some examples, you want to keep one page up permanently. The way to do that is by pinning it. So I'll add that we're going to add pinning. So we're going to add how to pin a page on this screen. Make sure that you have the page you want selected so that it's outlined in red. Then go to view. Then zoom. You'll see that our dual page display is selected. Now I'm going to select pin page. Now it's got the page on the left automatically pinned. So as I move now, the page on the left stays the same and only the page on the right will stay. 
and it will always stay pinned up in that spot. That can be very useful for you. Of course, it will only pin the page on the left. So make sure that the page you want pinned is moved to the left when you select it from down here. To unpin a page, simply go back to your zoom and select, un select pin page again and it will disappear. View. There we go. And it's gone. So there we go. We've got dual page view. That's selected. Let's go back to full screen. We're back in full screen. Hey, we've got full screen two page on. Let's go back to our single page. Notice the icon that moved us to tool page now toggles between dual page and single page. We'll select that. Now that we've covered this idea, let's unlock it. Group these few items. Make them smaller and move them out of the way and check them off.